Hi, okay, so uh, this will be the first video that I upload in the series of videos that I haven't loaded yet. So, um, first and foremost, I'm going to show you my look of the night. Um, today was my cousin's um, 16th birthday, and um, I am 21. And um, I try to look age appropriate yet youthful. Um, I've been dying to be able to dress however the hell I want um, since I can remember. So that being said, I um, I aspire for this. Like seriously, I. Anyways, I I've been dying to dress however the hell I want since I can remember. So when I do dress now, like, I try to be edgy, I try to be sexy, I try to be cute, I try to be age-appropriate, or inappropriate, I don't know, but, um, first and foremost, the most important thing that you can see is that my hair color has changed, um, this doesn't do it justice, but it is red, and I will definitely be sure to load pictures of it, um, so that you can see it better, excuse me, let me look and see, there it is, daggone, pictures are. I have some to be loaded. Um, but I definitely have some pictures to load for you to see um, what I mean. Um, I don't know if this is going to show up as well. But this is my outfit of the day for the party. Um... Just because I have a picture of it here, I figured I would show you piece by piece, and I'm still wearing it. As you can see, I'm still wearing it. Um, but I will go piece by piece. So, starting at the bottom, I'm wearing my green shoes. Oh, wait, pause. Look at the nails. Um, got them done again. Anyways, I'm wearing my green heels that I got and some tights that my mother insisted I put on because she said I look too bare. My Aztec dress that I got from Forever 21 and a blazer with shoulder blade or shoulder pads, shoulder blades, shoulder pads that I got from Forever 21 and my new red hair. Um actually this hair isn't really new per se. Um I guess I'll start doing a review of it um just to let you know how I feel about it. It is um the I believe it's called Boheme, Bohemi, I don't know, somebody correct me, I don't know anything about this brand of hair, it was a reasonable price, and they had the colors that I wanted, and I was trying something different besides the Bobby Boss Indie Remy, um, I'm trying to transition into, um, Brazilian hair, or Malaysian hair, um, so that I can have a better curl pattern and whatnot, and so that it blends my hair better, I also want to start getting bundles of hair, not packs of it, because the packs are kind of thin, they work for me, but they are kind of thin. I'm not going to hold you up. Um, and I feel like I could have done a whole nother pack, like, right here. Like, I feel like I could have added some tracks. So, I just might. Who knows? But, um, as of right now, um, I'm really pleased with my hair. And, um, it's definitely different. But I did something very similar like this, um, in the spring. Um, except there was, it was the same amount of red, actually. But it was in the middle, <laughs> and um not so much straight in the front and on the top so just so you can see that oh and my last final finishing touch are these earrings yes everyone these are the basketball wife style earrings put the computer down for a minute i don't know if it's if it's catching it um but these are like a bluish midnight color and i really like them so i put them on and they were only ten dollars i got them from the beauty supply store um so with that being said i will also talk about other things i got from the beauty supply store um so this was probably the best purchase of the day um my next purchases kind of range all over the place um first and foremost um i guess i'll start with the beauty supply store so like i said i got these um awesome earrings and I was buying stuff for my cousin, actually, and I ran across 
these as well. These are the spike earrings that you will see. Got those from Beauty Supply Store. Both of these were both ten ninety or nine ninety nine, which I think isn't bad. Um, because I said I would refuse to pay fifteen dollars unless they're like really big and epic, and they weren't. The um, next thing I saw were these like long earrings. They've got black and gold and silver in them. And so I guess technically fashion-wise they're tacky, but I thought they were great. I like the little ball at the top. And I definitely intend to be wearing these all fall and working the hell out of them. Um, next from the supply store were kind of random things that um, weren't necessarily necessities, but I got them anyways. Um, because I was shopping for my cousin. I actually didn't get this from the beauty supply store, but they have them there. I got this from a dollar store, actually. And this is LA Colors BES506. Um, three color eyeshadow in sand dune. Um, yeah. And... Oh, Jesus. And it has a kind of a silver-ish um, color, a sandish gold color, and like a, a tealish gray color. I don't know what to call that. Um, but I really like them. I was going to get them for my cousin, but I ended up getting her a bigger version of it. And it came with those little stupid brushes that I can't stand. So I got one of these little light fluffy brushes. And I did my makeup um, with them. You can't really see it that well. Okay, whatever. Um, next thing I got, lip therapy, cocoa butter. My lips are on bang. I kid you not. My lips, I need this right now. My lips are dying. Oh, they are dying so serious. Like, my lips needed this so bad. Mm. It's nice and minty, and I can definitely feel it going into my lips and that's what I need so um next thing I got was this um 2012 crackle nail polish the heck someone messaged me yeah crackle nail polish um what's the color on this I don't know if that's the color um but this is a green and um these were actually like $3.99 in other places and I found them for $1.99. So I definitely grabbed when they didn't have all the colors I preferred, but I definitely Oh, it's in Crucify. What a name. Anyways, but I definitely grabbed them and I got my cousin some too. I got her a whole bunch of nail polishes. And that's a really good birthday gift. She's turning 16 and I really didn't know what to get her. So I made her a basket of like bath salts um candles lotion smell goods um earrings um nail polish so little cute things like that and i put tool over it and uh, stuffed with tissue paper and so it's really really cute yep um is that it from the dollar or from the beauty supply store yes it is so my mom was at art and b and she ran across these bad boys. And these are just like the basketball wife style earrings. Um, except the um, hoops are like rigid almost. And they're in like a gunmetal color. I don't know how well you can see that. But they're in like a gunmetal color. Now the thing about these is I paid $9.99 for these. She paid $24 plus tax for these. Um, so that was definitely a mistake. And we also found out where to get the beads from. So I will definitely, definitely be looking into this. Oh my god, I'm getting texted. Um, Um, oh my god. Anyways, so, sorry, distraction. So, that's basically what I got from there. Um, the last and final thing I want to show you 
will be something that I didn't even buy for myself. I don't know where my dad got this from. I suspect it's from Sam's Club, actually. Or Costco or something. And it is this vest. And it's like a gray vest with like a knit material. Um, all along the collar, the back and the um, hood. And then around the hood is a faux fur as well as in the front. Actually, the faux fur is pretty nice. The inside is like silky. And at first I was like, the hell? But then I thought about it and that would be really cute with some gray leggings and some boots and just trying to kick it to go to class. And I feel really cute and edgy today. I got a lot of attention with my outfit and not that I like dwell on attention, but like good attention, like compliments. So um, I'm feeling really edgy now. So um, I can do it. I can, I can bangs with this outfit. So, <sighs> Oh man, I'm tired, but that was about it. Um, the last thing I want to show you is something that I'm going to do. This is a simple ladies purple, like plumish color, Hames sweatshirt. It's soft on the inside from, it's Eco Smart, um, from uh, Walmart. I'm going to cut the hood and make it a little bit off the shoulder. Um, so it'll be nice and fun for the fall. And I just grabbed some Faded Glory leggings to go with. So, anyways, everybody, that was all I have for you today. Um, yep, I don't have much else to talk about. So this will be the first of the videos that I load. Um, I have so many to load. And so this will be the first. Um, I promise. I promise. I know I said that in, you're going to see all the videos. I said it in every video. But I have so many things to haul and show you um, that haven't made it on YouTube yet. So forgive me. It is October 30th, 2011. And I am like eight videos behind. But this will be the first of the few. The other ones, my hair will not be like this. So you will know it's an old video. Alright. So I'll catch you later. Bye.